Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I thought I would tell you about a couple of things that I'm excited about. And the first one is going to be really silly, and a lot of you are going to be like, you knew about that, you know, years and years and years ago, but I am excited about it. And <laughs> it is this, the Little Lip Smackers Dr. Pepper. The other day I called Gina and I said, you know, I just want something to put on my lips. I said, do you know of any of those Revlon lip butters or any of those that is sheer but gives you that lips like a child? I had taken Brooke to the orthodontist and just looking at her, she just looked so pretty. And I just thought to myself, if, if somebody could just capture the pigment in her lips and in her skin and you know her eyelashes were so dark you know and she had no makeup on at that moment and um i just thought gosh you know i just want to try to find that perfect lip color that looks like you don't have anything on but still makes your face look vibrant and gives you a little bit of color to your lips and is moisturizing and when i was telling Jean all that she said you know what a lot of people use is that dr pepper lip smacker because I had mentioned cherry chapstick. I said kind of like cherry chapstick with but with more pigment. So I went and got this from Ulta. Can't remember how much it was and I love it. I've got it on today with nothing else and I love it. It just gives me enough color. Today I really wasn't even planning on doing a video and you'll see when you see what I'm wearing. But um, I was just going to run out. I've got to go to the grocery store. I've got to meet um, my designer friend to do some stuff and I've got to do some other things and I was just gonna you know throw something on and go out and um, I love it so I thought well, I'm gonna tell them about it because some of you might like it too even if you don't like it for a dressed up day just on the weekends or at the gym or something like that so I love that and then yesterday I met with Carmen and she is one of the owners her and her brother own Half United and I don't know if you guys remember when I got my necklace from Oliver. This is it. This is mine that I've had and I wore it yesterday. And I just love it. It's one of my favorite pieces. And it's, where's the catch? Here it is. This is the gold one with the, I think they call it raspberry, just the pink end. And then that says, let's see what this says, Half United Fighting Hunger. And the basis behind this company is every necklace that you buy, and here is the tag, every time you purchase a Fighting Hunger necklace, you give a week of healthy school meals to a child in need. Buy one, feed one. And this, they're handcrafted out of recycled bullet shells, um, meant to warn as representation of your fight against global hunger. We hope each time you wear the necklace, you strike conversation, spark interest, and are reminded of the selfless purchase you made to impact a child's life. Half of all the profits on this are given to hungry children. And, you know, that sounds good. You know, we all want to give and everything. But yesterday when I met with her, I just asked her, you know, where are hungry children in the United States? I just think that is just ridiculous. I can understand in other countries that have hard time getting aid and stuff, but in the United States, that just should not be a problem. And, you know, she told me several, you know, instances where it is, where it's, it's mostly education. And she also told me her story is her dad is a minister and her mom is a, an, an interior designer, high end. And she went on to, when she grew up, she's only in her 20s, I think she's 27. She went on to a career that was unfulfilling, and she ended up getting a job with Tom's Shoes, which I haven't ever bought any Tom's Shoes, but I think what it is is when you buy a pair of shoes, they give a pair of shoes to a child in need, and she was just really, really intrigued by that concept. So that was a way for her to incorporate her design ability, because they make t-shirts and stuff also, and her philanthropy, because she had been brought up with her dad being a minister, going on mission trips and stuff. So she started this company and what she does, and this was, I think, a really good point to me, is she finds all the groups that she has contact with, she found personally. And she met through her ministry work, her dad and stuff like that. And it's smaller groups of children that these proceeds really- They're not going right to a company. To. They may use the proceeds for advertising or 
like she said, copy paper and stuff like that, even though that is a real need, she wanted something that was very personal. So she has these groups that, you know, the proceeds really go to these children and they go to the education of these children as far as um, healthy eating, healthy lifestyles, just different career and um, life you know goals and she said it's not just you know canned unhealthy food they may plant gardens they get fresh food it's just she went on and on and I was just so impressed with the whole concept and um, I ended up buying I am gonna carry her line and I can carry the entire line um, yesterday I just chose some different pieces that I really liked and I thought were a good fit for us you know um, things that you and I like here and um, so I put those on my website last night and I will be getting more and so I wanted to show you a few pieces today and of course you've seen this and I, I knew that you guys liked this because I had so many messages last time that I showed it to you just in one of my haul videos that that's what really helped her and I connect she we heard about each other through friends okay and she had actually seen that video which, you know, that's so neat to me that somebody I don't even know would see me representing their product, you know, and um, and like it. So, anyway, this is the first one. This is 29 and I'm going to be, I don't think I'm going to be right on these prices. Maybe I can put it down here. And, of course, I'll put my blog link. This is one of my favorite ones, and this is called the Jasmine. All the names that you see of these necklaces and different designs that are a name or names of real children that they work with and they really get to know these children I just think it's so neat so this is the Jasmine and it is just so pretty it hangs so pretty on your neck and here are all the colors and you see how they move so it's just every time I wear this I have compliments on not this but my bullet necklace you have compliments and it's just so neat to have on a piece of jewelry to me that strikes a conversation and um, it's just I don't know it's it's special and to know that every time you tell somebody they may go get it and then you may help feed another child I mean it's just a really neat concept to me to mix fashion you know and accessories and helping children I just think that's awesome I think she's doing a great job so um, this is the one of my favorite ones um, I don't have one yet because I just got one to sell on my blog, so I'll be getting some of these for myself. Then this is, I don't know if the name is on it, the fruit, I believe it's called the fruit tree. And this one's, okay, I do know the prices. That one was 53. This one is 42. And this one is a little bit longer and has all the different colors. And you see they move. They move up and down the chain and they move all around, which is really neat. And they jingle a little bit too. I love that. And then this one, her, the girl she was with yesterday that works with her had this on with a beautiful coin necklace and it looked so good with a, it was a real low cut dress, maxi dress, like a flowy maxi dress and it was just gorgeous and it was this one. And you can see they move all around and in the picture I tried to move it in a couple of different ways so you could see, but um, I just love it. It was just the neatest thing. And then I have on one today that I wanted to show you back up, that I just put on with this necklace. And it just, they stack and layer so well. And not sure what this one is called, but I will put the name down. Then there are a couple of them that I could not get yesterday that I am ordering and will be getting, gosh, within a couple of days. And one of them is called The Giver, and it's a set of two. And um, it's long with another long chain, and they're two separate ones. And she said what's neat is a lot of people are giving away part of their giver necklace. And that is not what it was designed for, but that is such a neat concept because you can get the two necklaces together and then give it to, like, your best friend or your sister or your mom or somebody that you want to. And, I don't know, then you have that little bond, too. It's neat. And then another one is... Not sure of the name. Oh goodness, I'll put it right here. I was ill prepared for this video. I just wanted to, I don't know, when I do my videos, I kind of don't want them to be rehearsed. I kind of want them to be off the cuff because I want it to be just like you and I are talking, you know, in a, any conversation. So, um, but it is one, a really long one that you double around and I really like that one. I think it's so cool because then you have the, the layered look within that. 
So I'm just really, really excited. I think it is something edgy, fun, unique. It goes to a great cause. It's a conversation starter. I just think it's just a win-win all the way around. And I love it. But yet it. it's still I feminine really because do. of the the jingle and the, I don't know, it's, it's really neat. But they do have men's pieces too. I didn't get any because I know when I did the men's watches that didn't go over too well. So uh, you have to let me know. Matter of fact, if anybody really wants any of the man the men's pieces, I can carry those too. So I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day and then I have oodles of errands to do and um, okay, I'll so be right for my top, I have on this little top you guys have seen before. It is the Sunday Rocks and it's just so soft. I love it. And underneath, I have on one of my Sophie B. Um, I like to wear them just crisscrossed. And I love wearing the colors underneath something sheer because that just adds a little bit of fun. And I think it's sexy in a, I don't know, a neat way. I mean, you're not really revealing any of your skin, but it's kind of sexy at the same time to me. I like it. Um, my jeans are the Sabrina. I believe they're just, they're from Buckle. I cannot remember right now. I think they're BKE, but um, I'll put down below if it's anything different. And then, oh goodness, sorry. My drink is right in your way. Um, I was going to put these on and I think these would probably look much better, but I have these on and I think so I'm just gonna keep these out of the way. So I have on just my Javiana flip-flops. I have on the ones that are blue with a gold strap and um, I will probably just keep these on. So just a real casual run around outfit, but still something fun. I still like to be comfortable and then put my fun accessories on and you know, feel like I'm okay, a little And something. for accessories, I have on these little earrings that I'm not exaggerating. I probably bought these probably about um, five or six or more years ago at Target. And for them to be such a simple little nothing earring, they come in so handy because they are the brushed gold. So anytime you see something like this, it may not really catch your eye, but get it because it's perfect to wear when you're doing other statement type accessories. But you wanna, you know, it's like I wanna have something in, but I didn't want big hoops or anything like that. Um, my necklaces are the, Oh goodness, I can't remember the name of this one. That's killing me. But this is the Half United jewelry, and I can't remember. I'll have to put it right here. And this is the Vanessa Mooney necklace that I got. And I have to tell you, I was disappointed in the bracelet that I got to go with it. I went to put it on, and it wouldn't quite go around my hand. And when I went to, I thought it was just going to stretch or let me adjust it, and it ended up. The, one of the knots came out of that little ball at the end and I don't know how I'm going to fix it and I can't just tie it because it's not um, stretchy enough to fit over my hand so anyway there goes that story <laughs> I hate it when I'm disappointed in something that I really wanted to wear you know and oh my ring this is my Jenny Bird hear me roar ring I call it my Lisa Lion ring and I love it talk about a conversation starter every time I wear this I get compliments on this ring and I love it. And I'm embarrassed to even show you my little fingernails because I took my nail polish off last night and they looked so bad. I thought, you know, I might go really get a real manicure because I think that the um, Clarins self tanner, which any of them would do this, might be staining my nails just a little bit. They look a little yuck. So I just have clear base coat on those. And um, oh, my watch is my champagne aluminum and then I have on my bracelets and I'm going to keep these. I've got a bunch coming right now. I'm going to keep some bracelets on my store because I love these. It's so neat to be able to grab them. I keep them hanging on the end of that big long jewelry hanger I showed you guys and then I can just throw them on and you know they go with anything. And speaking of that, I this is my last set of bracelets from He and Me Apparel, Kristen Wood. And I wanted, I felt like I needed to kind of explain this because on my blog store, you will see some stretch bracelets like this and other styles that are going to be less expensive. They may be 15. I'm going to try to keep some on there that are like between 15 and $20. That way you can buy multiples and 
you know, fun little bracelets and, you know, stack them in that. Now these are um, a little bit more expensive. Matter of fact, I think, I'm got, I think I've got them listed for exactly what I paid for them. I paid $110 for this set. And they are from Kristen Wood. She designed these and they are Swarovski crystals and copper. And I want to just explain to you when you see sets of bracelets like this on my site that are just so much more expensive why they are. These beads were bought not in downtown bulk. that sells and a lot of old vintage jewelry and just really high end, um, just a lot of specialty shops. And that's where she lives near downtown and that's where she shops a lot. And she bought these beads from a really nice shop like this one is the crystal. Um, all of them are and see she puts the copper little bead over the knot and you will notice if you do get them that they're tight and she puts double the elastic and it is a much thicker nicer elastic that costs more so everything that she uses costs a little bit more and is made with a little probably a little bit more time um, and you know so like this set, um, and she said when you get them, they'll be kind of tight, but she said you can just stretch them out. You don't have to worry about it because they've got the double elastic. But like this set, I mean, they're just gorgeous. They're not, I put on the listing, it's not junk jewelry, and I hope you know what I meant about that. Like I have, and it's not junk, but you know what I mean, just kind of like jewelry that you can just throw on, you know, and if you, if something, if it were to get card on the card door, or some of the crazy things that happen to me, you're not going to just cry or anything and then this is these are just nicer beads they're just nicer um all the way around and so that's why they're more expensive and um, i'm going to try to keep a mix of these this type and this type and that way you know like me you can have both and um that's what i hope that you're getting that concept about my store i'm not just going out and um you know going to tj maxx or marshall's or anywhere i'm not just going out looking for stuff to put on there i'm truly keeping it my favorite things and things that i really think that you will enjoy i really have you guys in mind when i am looking at things so um i just hope that you know that and that you know that i'm just not you know looking for things to make money off of i'm really looking for things that all of us can really really enjoy so there goes that so I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope that you will go get yourself a little thing of Dr. Pepper Lip Smacker. It was so funny during that meeting yesterday with Half United, um, Kristen with He and Me Apparel pulled out one of these in, it was a light yellowy color, like a vanilla color, and it left a nice little shimmer on her lips. And it was, um, gosh, I'm not sure, like vanilla frosting or something like that. So if, these are probably more popular than I ever knew. So I hope you guys have a wonderful hump day and I will see you um, probably on Friday. And actually, I'm doing something exciting tomorrow. I am getting the keratin treatment on my hair. The real, the expensive one. The real nice one that takes a while. And I'm hoping that it is going to keep me from having to flat iron and curl my hair to get the frizzies out. So we'll see how that goes. That'll be a good experiment. And if some, are you, some of you have been thinking about it but didn't want to spend the money, then um, wait and let me tell you how it goes because you know I'll be honest. So I'll see you guys <laughs> on Friday and have a good day. Bye-bye.